Hello everybody, this is FC7. Today I'm going to be showing some gameplay footage from Orcs Must Die Unchained. This is using Gabriella, and we're going to be doing Banquet Hall Endless, and this is from the PlayStation 4. We'll go up to about level 25. So as no far as a loadout friend, I'm using, I'm using the Firewall Bracer, the Mage's yes, Clover, the Arcane Bowling Ball, the Tar Trap, Wall Blades, Haymaker, the Steam Vent, the Boom Barrel mm, Roller, and there. the Barricades. That's good, don't you think? So right now I'm setting up the Barricades where I usually do. I usually like to That's set up the Barricades spot. early the before I actually well. set any of the traps down. So I usually set a Guardian here. I shall protect. And then use one right here. Go through my kitchen. Put a haymaker placed. right there. The enemy has opened a minion portal. And an endless, the very first um, side that came out on is this one as opposed to the other They've side. They've broken through a gate! And I usually throw down a firewall because there's some runners that come through. Most of my traps are level 6 or 7. I do have like a few lower level ones, like the Haymaker is not very high. I've been actually playing since day 1 when the PlayStation 4 version came out. So we'll just get the remainder of wave 1 and get ready for wave 2. This will be fun! And I like to put the wall blades there. Get the rest of my Watch out! Our my enemies have broken through again. Put a fire on the And for some reason, in this hallway, they like to veer to the left as opposed to the right. Just make sure to put your barricades down on the right hand side. So for the first upgrade, I like to choose Concussive Strike. It allows Kinetic Pulse to stun heavy enemies for two seconds. Our barricades are under attack! So I'm going to double up the barricades here because for Wave 3, you'll have some runners that have bombs on their backs. Knowledge is power! And they'll go straight for your barricades at that end. So, so on to wave three. <laughs> and as soon as you hear that sound, you know the runners are coming to destroy your barricades. If you can get them in time, that's great. They always come out of the left hand side on this particular wave. Just make sure we get these guys. Using devious lure helps. Okay, now that wave three is done, for wave four I like to set up more wall blades and set up some arcane bowling balls. So I usually do that right here so it's facing exactly where the enemy comes out. And then I like to place two right over here where the enemies come through. Just place them here quick. Watch out! An unstable rift is opening. Get to it and destroy it. So the unstable rips are really easy. Just destroy them right here. 
I'm almost level 90 right now, so maybe I can hit them a little bit better. Okay, for the next upgrade, I always choose old habits. This will increase the duration of Devious War by 2 seconds. So Devious Alert, 2 seconds longer now. And remember, Kinetic Pulse actually, in addition to throwing enemies back, it also activates any trap in the area, so... I usually Those like to use it right know what hit here, them. so it activates all the wall blades. Place some boom barrels up here. This one and a couple more haymakers. Our barricades are under attack! And when I get the message about barricades being under attack, I usually don't worry about it too much. Unless there's a yellow dot on the screen, which indicates that the enemies can actually do some damage. So, we'll put some steam vents down, alternate them with our traps. I guess it depends on the level of the barricades. I have like level 7 barricades, so they might be a little bit stronger than the ones anybody watching is using. Right now. But usually, minions by themselves can't do much damage. The boss minion has entered the battlefield! So now here's a yellow dot, which means that there's a troll that can destroy the barricades. Coming from the left hand side. So you want to get him as soon as possible. This guy right here. He can really do some damage. The enemy's boss is dead! So we'll see in front of the wave. So here are some more runners that can destroy a barricade, but if they're on the right hand side, they're a lot easier to get. So this next other one, what I usually choose is Power Word. It'll increase damage dealt by Kinetic Pulse by 100%. I feel like that's the best choice in that uh, particular upgrade. So we'll continue to stop this wave. Place some more blue barrel rollers up. And the trick is just to concentrate on the left side of this hall with as many tra traps as possible. And remember, you only get 85 traps total, so your traps run out pretty fast. So I'll set the rest of my arcane bowling balls in this area. So I think you only get six. An unstable rift is opening. Destroy it. And be sure to get to the unstable rift. But like I was saying, I, th I don't know if it's because I'm almost level 90 or if they nerfed it recently, but these the rifts are a lot easier to destroy the than they used to be. Rift, and there was much rejoicing. They used to take a lot of hits, but now it only takes like 5 or 6. 
maybe they change something. So then I'll place a few more steam vents over here. And there's actually a tactic to this because the steam vents will help blow the enemy up into the air and then the barrels will help destroy them. Any enemy that's off the ground does double damage. You can do double damage to them. So we'll place some more tar traps down. Especially to get the runners. At this point, the mob density starts to increase. So you'll just have to make sure your barricades hold. And this rest of it should be cake. Touch Gabby or not touch the air. So that should be our last upgrade. So the rest should be just good at these waves. So when the density becomes huge, like the mob density is becoming now, Blink is a good option. So we'll just put some more haymakers up here. I'm not using much as Blink, and Blink is going to be able to teleport in the direction she is moving, removing control effects on her, heals her for 40% of her health. Haven't really used, needed to use it much, but during these coming up waves, it's a good idea. So I'm going to place some tar traps underneath the haymakers. It's a good tactic because the tar traps slow the mobs and the haymakers get time to reset, so it actually works out well. That's a good combination. Almost reaching the trap limit here, so I have to be careful. Well. Place a few more here. On to the next wave. A boss is on its way. If you play for a while, you start to uh, learn the tactics from all these mercenaries. Oh, you 
this point, they almost got through, but luckily you can run over your barricades. The enemy's boss is down! And I know there's actually a way to get uh, get three guardians that you can set, but I don't really have that yet. That would have been helpful at this point. I can only set two. Yeah, these orcs that shoot the arrows, you have to be very careful of too because they will shoot the barricades and destroy them, so make them a top priority. Another good tactic when you have the haymakers in that small confined area, and then you use kinetic bolts. You activate them all at once. It's a nice trick. Put a few more rollers up here, and we should trap them in. Unstable rift is opening. Quick, destroy it. Well done. The unstable rift has been destroyed. So once you have all your traps set and you reach your limits, now it just becomes a game of keeping your barricades up. Making sure that uh, no, they're not destroyed. A guardian has been defeated! So my guardian's gone. Just make things a little bit more difficult. So on to the next wave. And remember, there's chandeliers on the top too. You can use those as um, an alternative source of damage. They don't last very long, but when you get through around this wave, 15 plus, you can start using them. Just shoot them at the top and they'll fall down. Cobalt, what I usually do is go by the Haymakers, so when he disappears in front of you, the Haymakers can take it down. So I start to use Unchained around this point, because the mobs start to become so incredibly uh, numerous. Sometimes all I can do is use some chain to get through the waves. Because remember, you can't set any more traps if you reach 85 limit, so... Right now, any money you get at this point is useless. And the game starts sending out uh, orcs that are immune to a lot of the core traps you have. 
so this team vents won't do anything weak. It actually would have helped if they would have given you a level limit to 15 more traps. Though. Or if they would have just re removed the trap limit altogether for endless, but I guess that uh, would maybe unbalance the game, I don't know. So on to the next wave. Another tactic I like to use is just to go up on the wave when they first start coming through, start shooting, and then just jump back. And again, remember to get these uh, archers on the way first. Because once your barricades are gone at this point in the game, they'll just come right through and the game will be over. Like I said, just avoid the money icons because there's no need for money right now. If you have a choice between an unstable rift or getting rid of the archer guys, just get rid of the archer guys. Our barricades are under attack. Be careful of your barricades. here and get rid of some of these trolls. Actually these trolls seem to have more hit points than orcs. So let's get rid of these guys. They've summoned the force on this way! Boss minion down, and then this guy. The boss minion has been taken down. Two boss minions. There's also this other boss minion that shoots at green stuff. I never worry too much about that guy. Just stay away from him and just range DPS. Should be okay. You really don't have to worry too much about hit points at this point because there'll be a lot of hit point bottles just laying on the ground. Same with mana. That's why you don't really need to use a mana well or a hit point well to regain the health of mana. You can just find them on the ground at this point. So at this point in the game, they start sending out um, some enemies that are very hit point resistant, like they have lots and lots of hit points. Um, they're just not regular minions, the majority of them are huge, like orcs or trolls. Or the trolls that have um, shields in front of them, so you can't do frontal damage, you have to go behind them and do damage that way. And these armored orcs take forever. So yeah, around the early 20s is when they start throwing these guys at you. So 
So really it's only a matter of time. Again, they'll destroy Our your barricades. Are under attack. And once your barricades are gone, then yeah, that's it. So I barely made it through that wave, and barricades are falling, so I'll have to shore these up pretty soon. So, you know, look at all these armored orcs. These guys take forever to get down. A few at a time isn't bad, it's when they just they throw like 30 or 40 of them at you. But luckily, to get the 5 stars on this, you just need, I think, level 25. Or maybe less, I'm not really sure. But really, after you 5 star it, there's really no reason to do it again. I know there was a bug recently where you could not get past Banquet Hall um, at past level 25. I don't know. They must have fixed that recently. On Endless. Try to get this one repaired quick. It's very risky to do this because if there's like a bunch of mobs coming at you and you try that, they can just go right through. And if there's a mob in the way, you can't place a barricade down. Stay back. Unstable rift is opening. Quick, destroy it. So we get that rift. And our heroes destroyed the unstable rift. And there was much rejoicing. Our barricades are under attack. So we'll see if we can get through this. <laughs> Might have to let the Guardian deal with a couple of these. Get that orc. Or that troll. And instead of time rearranging traps, we'll just. Uh, Start the next wave right away. The boss minion has entered the battlefield. Be sure to get the runners. Whatever you do. Try to survive another wave after this one. This is getting super difficult. 
just the sheer number of armored orcs and trolls and stuff that keep sending out. And then they use that in combination with the uh, runners with bombs and the, um, the archers. Yeah, it gets pretty difficult. So, Let's see if we can survive this one. Let's see if we can get through. This one. Yeah, and I'm out of mana, so there's not much I can do. So that might be it for me. A good plan executed violently. Enemies at the rift. More enemies. So that should just about do it, but. Even though I failed at uh, wave 26, I still have five stars. So thank you everybody for watching. Any questions, just leave them below. Um, I encourage people if they're into MMOs, I do have a channel that is mainly about an MMO named EverQuest. So if you've ever played that, it's pretty much what my channel is about. But I also love this game, so I'm going to try to do both have both games up and maybe what other game I like at the time so that should just about do it everybody have a great day